hello folks me again and hopefully you wrote down a list of things you can use to make your asynchronous lessons your pre-recorded videos and remember you don't have to make all the videos yourself I think it's important for you to be on camera to make a lot of the videos but sometimes you can find something very interesting on YouTube okay or it doesn't have to be a, vi a, a video we're talking about asynchronous lessons, so maybe it's a PDF file with instructions, depending on the age of your students. Maybe it's an audio instruction that you recorded using Vocaroo, for example, or even WhatsApp, or it could just be a simple instruction on Google Classroom for you to do something. So that's also asynchronous. But here, uh, like I said before, I'm gonna focus on the recorded lessons, on the video lessons, okay? Now this is video four and perhaps the most important video because this is a message to you teachers out there. You are the first responders, you are working uh, on the front line. I know that we're trying to keep things moving. That's very important. And uh, at the same time, sometimes we're not actually taking good care of ourselves. And my message is take care of your mental health, okay? I know I've been working really hard, uh, three, four times more. Sometimes we wake up very early to finish things or we, we stay up late trying to edit things, answer emails, do everything. But you, you are the ones who are actually really suffering because you were just thrown into this new uh, period of your lives in which you have to keep working I know that many of you are scared because you don't actually know how this will end or when this will end. You're scared for your jobs and you know that many of your loved ones, you know, the, the people in your family and friends might contract this infection. So there are so many things happening that it can be overwhelming. So that's why this is a very important message. Take care of your mental health. Uh, reach out to someone, talk to someone if you need to. You can talk to me if you're watching this and you have my contact. You can also uh, take care of your family. Uh, don't work too much. I understand that sometimes that's not an option. That's why you should try to balance your online lessons, your synchronous lessons with your asynchronous lessons. And when you get the hang of it, when you really know how to make and edit videos I think it's gonna be easier for you because then you can just plan I'm gonna record a couple of videos and I'm going to upload them on Monday I don't have to worry about being online at that time and you know there are many disadvantages also being online all the time because of the connection because all the kids are speaking at the same time their microphones are not working your microphone sucks sometimes you know so the audio they're getting is terrible, the resolution is terrible, so there are many disadvantages. So it's actually a good thing to balance asynchronous and synchronous lessons so that you can plan your time, it can be more flexible, you can have time to do the things that you want, the things that you need, the things that you like to do, and also be with your family. That's very important. Uh, so eat healthy foods, you know, do uh, exercise, actually, you know, be physically active somehow. You don't have to go out and work out. You shouldn't go to the gym, but try to do something. You can meditate. Meditation is actually great. Mindfulness is great. There is a very cool app called Headspace. So you can do that. You can download the app. I have it on my phone. Try to meditate a couple of minutes every day before you start uh, chaos. I know it's, it's hard. Talk to people, have lives with people, you know, get on Google Hangouts or Zoom or uh, WhatsApp, video call, call your friends, do something, talk to them, call your family, just take care of yourself. That's important. And that's much more important than anything else, because for you to be able to do your job well, you have to be feeling well. You have to be, if you are under stress, if you are feeling a little bit depressed with the whole thing that is going on, if you are feeling anxious, 
if you are worrying too much about what parents might say, what your school directors and coordinators might say, that's very hard. That's so hard for you to be able to focus and do your job well. So taking care of your mental health is actually beneficial for your job, okay? If you're, but I have to do my job, yes, but you have to be okay to do your job well. Otherwise, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to stop everything. We have to take care of ourselves, okay? Remember that, that's my message, okay? If you wanna reach out, that's wonderful. If you wanna talk to someone, please do. And just take a break now and then, okay? And remember, you are the first responder. You are working on the front line. You will be criticized. You will be criticized by teachers, your, uh, your colleagues. You're gonna be criticized by uh, school managers and directors, and mostly by parents. I just want you to remember that many parents have no idea what teaching is. They don't really know what education should look like because they are a product of our educational system that, you know, to be fair, is not good. <laughs> we have a, a bunch of flaws, a lot of problems. So you have to remind yourself of uh, that because uh, if parents can get to you because of, of the things they say and you keep worrying too much about that, then your job is not gonna be done well. So one thing I can tell you is, have your arguments, you know? Let parents know that you don't have the necessary skills to make videos or the equipment to make videos, that you're doing your best, and that many of the things they say are nonsense. They really don't make any sense. So you have to be sure that you can give them those arguments or you can get support from your coordinators, from your directors to help you tell parents that. Sometimes they are making demands that you cannot give them and that's gonna make your life much more complicated. So stay well, stay safe, take care of your mental health. How about meditating a little? So after this video, uh, my task for you is find a meditation app could be Headspace, like I told you, or you know what? Go to YouTube, look for meditation, like 10 minutes or 20 minutes, put on your headphones, your headset, go somewhere quiet in the house, just listen, follow the instructions, and, and, and then tell me how you feel afterwards, okay? I hope that helps, and we're here to help. Bye-bye.